Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we are going thrifting. It's been such a long time since I did like a whole thrifting vlog and haul. So I'm super, super excited. It's actually my first time going to this specific thrift store. Um, I live in a fairly small town and if you live in a small town, you know that it's really hard to find thrift stores with like actual good stuff. So my dad is actually taking me, thank you dad, to a bigger thrift store in a town over. It's a bigger area. It's a huge thrift store. Him and my sister have been before, but I haven't gone yet. This is my first time. So I am super excited to see what I'll find. Wish me luck in the comments, even though this has sort of already happened before you could even comment on this. So I don't know why I'm asking you to wish me luck, but yeah, come along with me for the journey. And I'm excited to see what I'll find. When I say this place was huge, I am absolutely telling the truth. I don't know if this is just standard thrift store size for people who live in larger cities, but this seemed like a whole theme park compared to the small ones in my town. Found this cute skirt, but it was way too small for me, which made me so sad. I was actually like super overwhelmed this whole time due to like the sheer volume of stuff and like the size of the store. Like I had to take a breath and just be like, okay, look through the racks. I found this really cute um, Betty Boop shirt. It was really, really cute, but not my style says eat dust. And the home section, I love looking at the home section. Look at these cool lamps. It was absolutely huge. Look at all the glassware. I absolutely love looking through any home section at any thrift store. It's like taking a little dive into like the people's homes who live in that area that's kind of a weird concept but I love all these little figurines surprisingly I didn't really end up getting any figurines I kind of wish I had though now look at all these candles there are so many weird candles like this little Scorpio one I showed this one to my sister who is of course a Scorpio and look at this freaking unicorn like what I've actually seen quite a few of these little like jewelry box little mini cabinet things at a few thrift stores. They're really cute. I wish I had room for one. There's a microscope. An entire globe? That oh, really that's really cool. Whatever these poor little creatures were trapped in this bag, I felt bad for them. I really wanted to buy them just so I could let them out. Most thrift stores have these like little mixed bags, but I never really take the time to look through them. They had a ton of them. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to look at them. There's a cool Buffy shirt. I've never watched that show, but the, the shirt was pretty cool. And of course, you have to have the designated murder weapon section. I'm so glad this thrift store had this section for murderers on a budget. Disclaimer, I did not actually push the cart the entire time. My sister pushed it, but I wanted to have a little clip of me walking down the aisle with the cart. Also, shout out to Lacey, my sister, for filming all the clips of me. Very helpful. I ended up buying her a skirt because she filmed for me. Thank you, Lacey. And after all that, it was time to go home and unpack the haul. I'm home. I'm on my floor because I didn't know where else to go. I have three huge bags full of stuff. Okay. Um, come here. Oh. These are the bags. They're so huge. And they're so full of stuff, and it's time for the haul now. Okay, so I got this little, like, tin thingy. It's like a little decorative, like, almost like a little treasure chest. I thought it'd be really cute just to, like, keep stuff in. I don't know. I don't have a lot of space just around my- like, I have a very- Shut up. I have a very small room, so, like, I don't have a lot of, like, shelf space or, like, space to just, like- put stuff on that's why I, I usually get a lot more stuff that I can hang up on my walls um but I'll definitely find a place for this because it's so cute and I could I don't know what to put in here but something I'll put something in there and they have these like little baggies of a bunch of stuff grouped together so I got one that has a bunch of little picture frames in it 
Um, I'm gonna put a bunch of little pictures in here and then hang them up on my wall. I have a gallery wall, so like I just have like a bunch of random pictures and stuff on the wall. I like the way it looks. Yeah. So this is Metal Militia shirt. This is super, super cool. This is really giving that like Y2K vibe, which I really want to, I, I want to plan more outfits that are like Y2K, like goth, like mall goth themed, like super cool with the like blingy jeans and stuff. I saw a few pairs of like those jeans that are all like bedazzled and stuff on the bum. I think those are super cool, but I can never find any in my size, which I don't actually even know what size I am in jeans. I, I don't wear jeans. I do not have one pair of jeans. I ended up buying some today though. Okay, and then I have a red turtleneck. I really, really love turtlenecks. I have two right now, a black one and a blue one, but I saw this one. I'm like, oh, the color is gorgeous. So cute. Um, it's, it's very thin not very thin but it's thinner it's not super thick which i like because i'm a very warm person i like thinner sweaters i found a virgin mary like hanging plate thing and i thought it was pretty uh, it's just plastic but like i thought it was really cool so i figured i'd hang it up i got these boots they were literally 11 dollars. they're in my size they're really, really cute. They're great quality. Um, I wanted a pair of boots like this. I had a pair kind of like this, but they're a bit too big on me. So I figured, you know, maybe I'd wear them more if they were closer to my size. They're super cute. I found the receipt. Also, yeah, I spent, I'm not showing you the receipt, but I spent $127 in total. I got a shit ton of stuff. Oh my God. Okay, I was gonna leave this for last, but I was too excited about it. I got this, like, I showed this before. Freaking, like, wedding dress style, like, huge black dress. Like, it's huge. Super excited to try this on, see how it actually, like, fits and, like, looks on me. This is gonna require, like, like, I'm gonna need to style this. I, I might take this weird, like, rose thing. This is weird rose. It's, like, crinkly. I might take that off. Seems like it'd be fairly easy to take off. I can't tell if it's ugly or not until I put it on. <laughs> and then I just have all of this. This is just like a bunch of like white lacy fabric. I'm going to, I think I'm going to put this up along like, I have this like Halloween black like mesh fabric that I sort of drape everywhere. I think I'm going to put some of this up and I don't know if I want to leave it white or if I want to dye it. Um, I'm really not sure, but it's like super cool. Like it's just, there's just a ton of it. I love lacy fabric. I'm actually wearing like lacy like shirt today. I love lace. It's so pretty and like so dainty and delicate. It's so cute. And then I'm a sucker for a good tank top. Super cute tank top. Like I like smaller ones. I like the way they fit me. And it's got the little like design there. Last bag. Um, this is the pair of jeans I got. I have no idea if they'll fit me or not because I have no concept whatsoever of what my size in jeans is, but I do have like a note in my phone of my, like my body measurements, like waist, hips, whatever. So these will hopefully fit. These should fit, but we'll see. Um, I don't really like jeans that much, but I figured I should have a pair of them. So we'll see how I like them. Okay, this is just a really cute long sleeve black shirt. I love this. The fabric is so nice and it's that thinner fabric as well. Not super thick. I just like the fit of this. I feel like this will look really nice like on my body as well. This, oh my God, I'm excited about this. I really hope this fits me. Like I said, I have no concept of like what size I am. Um. My sister, Lacey, actually saw this on the rack and was like, oh, this is cute. And I'm like, ah, yes it is. It's like very 90s, so cute. I'm excited to try this one on as well. Okay, <laughs> if you watched, I think it was my last thrifting video, I got a pair of pinstriped pants. I think it's pinstripe, I think that's the term. Um, and they were far too small for me. 
again no concept of what size I am but I got some today that will definitely fit me and they're stretchy so I'm so glad I found these I've been looking for a while it seemed that every thrift store around me had like 25 pairs of these in every size until I needed them so I'm glad that I could find these and then I think this is the last item yeah it is I got a black fuck off go away go away go away sorry I got a black skirt it's like all wavy at the bottom uh yeah let's go ahead and try everything on ignore the fact that my floor is covered in various things from the thrifting journey i won't be picking them up right now you can enjoy that these are so cute though they are really comfy i really love them they're so like chunky i love that i needed chunky boots like this okay so this i thought this would be longer um again ignore everything on the floor that's gonna be consistent i'm not gonna clean this up like right now it's going to be messy i'm sorry okay you'd probably leave it too if you were me um but this isn't as long as i thought it would be still super cute it's super comfy a little bit tight on me like when i was pulling it up but like it fits really well on my waist um i like to wear my skirts higher i just i don't know I prefer it. I'm not a low rise skirt kind of gal. Chubby, chubby girls rise up. Um, if you are a low rise skirt kind of gal though, that's cool. You do you. I really like this. It's really cute. I'm so glad these fit me, genuinely. They're actually like really long. Like they're around my eight, like feet, um, which could be an issue, but I could probably shorten them. They're more like leggings than I thought they would be. They are like literally like leggings okay so this was the like button-up top i guess i was going to wear with like the original pair of pants that i got that look like this um oh come on come on please okay it looks so cute this is this is so corp goth this is so corp goth and i'm so here for it this is really really cute um, like the patterns, and as as always with any shade of anything in black, um, ignore the, I'm trying to do up this friggin' button. It's not that it's too tight, it's a little tight, but it's just that I'm fucking, I have stupid fingers. I really do. Um, as with anything in black, the shades are like slightly different. Um, but it goes so well, like this is really friggin' cute. I, I want to go to a business meeting and this i feel so adorable ah, i love it oh i'm so happy right now these jeans fit like a fucking dream oh my god it has genuinely been years since i have found a good pair of jeans that fit me well and like they're black and they're nice because like I don't like things that are too tight around here it makes me like really like it makes my back hurt it makes me uncomfortable and I just straight up like won't wear it for long periods of time but these are so comfy and they're black like I love them so much I'm I'm so happy right now over this freaking pair of jeans shut up this is so cute look at the back let me move my hair this is so cute I really love the way this fits too this is so flattering God, I feel like a MILF right now. I really do. Oh my God. This is so cute. This is so cute. I love this. I love the back detail so much. Literally adorable. Oh my God. Ah, oh, yes. This is so, oh, the Christmas fit. Literally Christmas day outfit. This goes really well with my lipstick actually. That's so cute. This is adorable. The fact that I was questioning getting this, like, what the hell? It really is comfy, and I love turtlenecks. They're so cozy. It's perfect for Christmas. It's so perfect. Like, this is freaking adorable. This is so cute. I love it so much. Oh, shut up. Shut up. This is the cutest. Oh, how I love this top. This is literally so adorable. Like, it fits so nicely. Why was everything I wanted 
in my size. There was not a single thing that I genuinely looked at to buy that was not in my size, except for one coat. There was a really cute coat. Oh, I, I wish I, I wish that was in my size now. But this is so cute. Oh my God, it's so cozy. I love all the cozy finds. I needed more cute, like cozy clothes. Like I genuinely want to like cuddle up with a book in this, I don't read that much. Um, but I want like a, a cup of tea and like to cuddle up in this book, in this book, in this shirt, that's what it's called. And like, just, oh, it's cute, it's cute. I love it. Okay, so this doesn't look, okay, this is not made for somebody with, with uh, badonkers. I don't know why I'm slapping them. Um, and it doesn't fit like that flatteringly if it's just like this. Whoa, flashing you. Um, but if I put an elastic around the back, mind you, my whole like asshole is out if I'm doing, no. If I like were to like cinch it back here, it's so cute. It's really cute. It's like really short. That's so cute. Oh, I love that. If only it just fit like that, because that is really cute. It's really short, like really short. Like my whole fucking balls are right there. But this is really cute like this. I really want to see if there's a way I can modify it to be like tighter in this area. Oh boy. Oh, it's, oh my God. I'm suddenly claustrophobic. I think this is how I die. I hate this. My hair is stuck in something. My, all, all of my hair is stuck on like a, is it stuck on a zipper? Can you guys unzip this for me, please? <sighs> I need a fucking breather. My one arm is stuck inside. Is that a zipper? Yes. I need my grandma. I got my grandma to help me. It was a zipper, but my dilemma comes. Yet again, my fucking milkers are my demise. Um, this. <laughs> I want to cry. There's, I bet there's something I could do to make this wearable. Like, I love this. It's so fucking cute. It's so cute. I love it. Um, I'll just fucking cut my tits off if I want to wear this. Um, it's like, it's so cute. Like, look at it. Maybe I'll make it backless. That's what I could do. I'll totally just make it backless somehow some way I'll become a seamstress and I'll do that myself. But look at this, look at all of it. I feel like, da, 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 da. I feel like that's what I should do with it. It's so cute. Also, where's this fucking stupid flower? It is ugly. It's, it's really ugly and I hate it. I hate it so much. Um, what do you guys think? Is it doable that I could do something with this? Are any of you like seamstresses? Tell me what I could do with the back. Cause that's fucked. <laughs> that's the whole back out. That's fucked. Um, maybe I could just like put a fucking fat ass piece of fabric in there. Uh, yeah, but it's really cute. Okay, so my grandma and I kind of came, well me really, she just did it up, but that's kind of like an integral part of this. So we came up with sort of a solution. I didn't realize the straps were adjustable. So if I zip it up, and then like adjust the straps differently. Like it will fit. And if I tuck, like I can tuck the back part into like itself and like, it's just lower cut. I hate this fucking thing. Can this come off now? So fucking ugly, genuinely. I hate this. Go away. Fucking die. I hate you too. Oh, wow. I just did that. Um, like, if I put a corset on, this is so cute. Okay, yeah, I'll do something with the back. The back, okay, we got the party in the front. We got the party in the front and like the fucking hangover in the back. The fucking like throwing up and like dying afterwards. I don't know why that's a thing. But that's not, the, what analogy is this? Um, so fucking cute. Like it's, oh, yes. I love it so much. Like the, oh, that was my fucking balls. Uh, the, the frills and everything. Oh, <laughs> it's so cute. Yes. 
still on my floor for some reason. Something tells me I'm gonna be down here for a long time because I have like so much shit to clean up. Like my, my floor is covered in stuff, but that's okay. It's awesome. This is literally the best thrift haul I've ever had. That's gonna be the clickbaity title of this video. Best, huge, a million dollar, gothic thrift haul that's the title if that's not the title then i failed as a youtuber also if you've noticed that it sounds like i have a cold i do well i don't anymore i did do i still i did i can't fucking taste or smell anything and it's been the worst time of my life because i love tasting and smelling things uh, so your mission for today is to enjoy and be grateful for the fact that you can taste and smell things because I can't, so that's sad. Anyways, I love you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye!